I couldn't help it. It just popped in there. What? What just popped in there? I... I... I tried to think. Look! Greetings fans, hyper fans, and people just lost looking for videos of cats on YouTube. Today marks a big set of announcements from Google and their new Android operating system, Marshmallow. I'm not an Android user, but I do know a thing or two about Marshmallow. So, a while ago, a friend of mine on Twitter complained that they were moving from Ireland to the UK and they were no longer going to be able to get chocolate elite Kimberleys. But I couldn't really relate to these things because I'd never had one. Um, they've been on my radar for a while. Um, and I found them in Sainsbury's. Um, I don't know how long they're going to be stocking them. They come in packs of eight for £1.30, I believe. I think there is an online retailer called The Irish Shop that also stock them. Um, but, yeah, so these things are finally available in the UK, and I bought a packet to see quite how amazing they are, and why this guy was missing them so much. Because to me, the way they were described, they didn't sound that different from Wagon Wheels. Um, one of my favourite childhood treats. And I have to admit, I'm probably still a little bit too fond of them now. But my love of even those was superseded when I was living in China, and I discovered these. Orion Chocopies. So I'm going to do a comparison vid. Let's start with the most common one for most of us, which is the wagon wheel. These are 24 grams, and I have to just go and run off and look that up on the internet. This one's a, a, a little bit lopsided, but um, I think I can take most of my measurements in the right way. So let's have a look. So that is... 75 millimeters across. And 1.6 millimeters deep. I just get a cutting board in here because I don't want to get my paper background chocolatey. Let's see, chocolate's pretty flaky. Um, what's going to give us the best half? There we go. Okay, so very thin layer of chocolate, two biscuits, and the marshmallow in the middle. Um, each of the biscuit layers is about the same width as the chocolate, so, um, yeah, it's about five mil for each of the biscuits, and I'll get the marshmallow all over the precision implements. Yeah, only four mil of marshmallow in the middle. Mmm. I have to say, while you can taste the marshmallow, mainly what you're tasting is chocolate and biscuit. These do come in a jammy variety as well, but I've always thought that's a little bit of an overcomplication. But no, that's rather nice. That's 
And that's not a bad baseline to start from. I'm just going to move this over to one side. They're usually about a pound for a pack of either six or eight, depending on if they're doing promotions. And yeah, lunchbox favourites. Okay, so let's go on to the Boland's Elite Chocolate Kimberly. Now, I don't have a lot to compare what the chocolate's going to be like. Um, obviously, being in Ireland, they're sticking to more European conventions of what chocolate has to be. So I'm expecting a little bit more cocoa solid in that. These are 22 grams each, so a little bit lighter. And as you can already tell, they are tiny. They are tiny compared to the wagon wheel. So let me just go and grab my calipers. And we have, let's see what's the best width. A width of 4.9 millimeters, 49 millimeters even. Um, I'll, I'll be fair and call that five centimeters, still a couple of centimeters short, but that's a whole half centimeter bigger than the wagon wheel. So definitely a lot thicker. I'll just sort of put them side by side for height. We'll cut this one in half. Let's see what gives us the cleaner half. There we go. So the biscuit is a lot lighter. I think Wagon Wheel Biscuit is actually slightly chocolate flavoured, which is why the chocolate came through so heavily. Let's see, and we have... Oh, 0.5 on the biscuit. On the top biscuit, Clear some of that away. Top biscuit actually seems to be a little bit thicker. Or bottom biscuit, I may have this upside down. Yeah, that's coming out at about seven millimeters. But that is the same width as the marshmallow. You got seven millimeters of marshmallow in there. Okay, so let's see what this is like. Mm. The chocolate's actually a little bit more smoky. I'm not sure if that's got more cocoa solid in it, but uh, yeah, it's definitely a richer taste. There's almost a slightly ginger taste to the biscuit as well. Yeah, checking the wrapping, they are actually ginger biscuits. So you have ginger marshmallow and chocolate on this. It's an interesting contrast, and it does sort of cut through the sweetness of that a little bit. And as I said at the beginning of this video, they are about £1.30 for a pack of six at supermarkets at the moment. Um, I found them in the Sainsbury's, I don't know if anywhere else has them. But now, going on to what's probably going to be my personal favourite. I do know what these taste like already. I was kind of treating myself with these in Beijing when I was trying to learn Chinese. Now this is a massive 30 grams. It's not quite as wide as the wagon wheel, but it's taller than even the Elite Kimberly. Okay, so let's get the calipers out. So width-wise, those are 6.2, sorry, 62 millimeters. 
and height wise they are a whopping 2.4 millimeters actually even that's dechocolating it so probably closer to 2.5 um just want to say that on the rest of these uh, they're pretty much sort of drenched in chocolate this because of the width the chocolate kind of wraps around it yeah it still has a solid base where it's stood to cool now whilst these were everywhere in china i think that orion is actually a korean snack food company but you can find these in Asian supermarkets pretty much all over the country okay so cutting it they're obviously a lot softer this one's starting to crumble away and the chocolate isn't quite as thick as it is on the elite Kimberly but the biscuits very similar shade again not that added chocolatiness of the wagon wheel uh, let's see So top biscuit and chocolate is one centimeter. About the same on the bottom. And yeah, much less marshmallow. Six or seven millimeters. I know that doesn't add up to the same height. I don't know if these expand when I've cut them. Actually, before I do the taste test on this half, let me just line those up so we can get a comparison. And that's quite springy with the marshmallow that more so although I think that's the biscuit giving as well as the marshmallow and these the marshmallow seems to actually be a little bit more bouncy in that okay here we go The chocolate has a lot less flavour to it. The biscuit is very soft and almost cake-like, meaning that actually most of the texture and most of the flavour is coming from the marshmallow itself, and considering that's what I like these for, it's why it's kind of perfect. So, whilst the wagon wheel is always going to have sort of that nostalgic love for me because that was lunchtime snack, treats, whatever reason that I'm probably the shape I am now I can understand why anybody who's grown up with these is gonna find this disappointing but anybody who loves either of these definitely try out one of these these were picked up for me from Lunfang I think it was about three pound 29 for a box of 12 so a little bit more expensive than these two but I'd probably say it was worth it I think the only thing that could top any of these three is the Tunnock's Tea Cake, but not being a true marshmallow sandwich, I think it would have been unfair to these three had I put that into the mix. Thank you for watching as I strayed away from toy reviews. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Leave comments below if you bitterly disagree with my chocolatey findings. I think there's a whole video next before I go back to reviewing toys. So until next time, if you're keeping them mint in package, they're probably chocolate Viscounts.